What is up, guys? The owner of Best FIFA Clips and Tips here, and I'm bringing you a trading method by FIFA Sloth. His link will be in the description below. Um, it's about trading rare silvers. Um, so yeah, if you guys like it or it helps you, hit the like button and comment below. And if you want to see more trading tips, subscribe. All right, thanks. Hi guys, this is FIFA Sloth back again. I'm showing you a trading method that I like to use. It's a good trading method because you can start it with barely any coins. It should be a short video just showing you the basics on how to do it. It might not be successful because you need to do it at the right time and you need to have some luck. A lot of those doing is going on silver and then the max price of 150. So what you want to do is find the rare silver players and put a bit of 200 for them. You can put a 100, 150 bid on them if you want, but that won't always be successful and you have a better chance of doing it when you put a bid of 200. Because often if you put a bid of 150, you might lose the player and be a little bit high. This can take some time depending on when you do it, but if you get it at the right times, you can make pretty good coins from it because you can make up to 100 coins from each player. One thing you can do is just skip forward a lot of pages so you can try and get in front of anyone else who's trying to do the same method. So this is quite a good time to do it because there's not there's quite a lot of people on putting up silver rares but I don't see them but there's a lot of people <coughs> doing the method. So on a lot of these players you might get embedded so once you see your quite just gonna just keep on bidding on more players and eventually I'll start one and so on. And you should be able to make some decent coins. This video will be quite short because right now this is quite a good time to do it, but then again there isn't that many up and uh, there's obviously people doing the same method right now. That man's yellow. Um, so because I don't have a good editing program yet, and I'm sorry that I don't have a great video call at the moment because I'm using Bandicamp. Um, the audio quality will become better, but at the moment I need to use the microphone on my laptop, which will change soon. This trading method is better to do on the way back because. When you do it with Xbox, sometimes it's too slow and you can't get onto the pages in time to win them. When you get when you bid in the players that are less than 70 or 80, you have a much higher chance of winning them. Probably with them because he's got a high pace. And if you happen to win a player who has got quite good pace or is an already good player, you, should, you can sell them. And you might make some profit. Because if I win this guy, he's a striker, he's over 70 rated, he's Argentina, he's got quite, quite good shooting. If I were to win him, I could probably list him and maybe he's on for 500 coins. Because he's English and if he's from an English team, he would go for a lot more. 
and the hundred defaults. To do well in this trading method, you just need to per be persistent and keep on trying and give it some time. It is easier with lots of coins, but because you get out of it quite often, it really isn't required. I'm not doing this with only 3k, and once I've done, I might have 4k, and if you do it the right time, it's pretty good profits. It's easy profit. I didn't roll buying packs. I do have another trading method that I like, and I'll, I'll upload that shortly after I've recorded it. It involves buying bronze packs, 400 ones, and when, because when you get contracts, you can sell them, or fitness cards, you can sell them for quite some money themselves. You can easily make the money back in the pack in just one item. for 250 because these squares often go for quite a bit. Yeah. Goes for some money. Mm -hmm. Slap on that bed. See, most of these PPL players, uh, or strikers, or are the higher rates of risk, they will go almost certainly will go for more than 200 coins or 250 coins. And a lot of Bundesliga players do a bit also, they have some decent coins. This method is quite useful because when I'm done, and when I'm done with this, I only have to wait about less than 15 minutes. And I think because I've only got that much coins, I think I'll stop there. And as you can see, I, I'm still winning most of these, which is all good. I've already won one. I see I've won for 200, and that's already 50 coins. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the method and uh, please like if it's helped you and please subscribe and watch my other videos. Thanks and bye.